And we're back with another cat cast. This is all about purchases that we probably shouldn't have gotten ourselves or somebody. Dumb purchases. Uh, we've all probably been there. Stupid once or twice. stuff we've bought. <laughs> yeah, stuff that it could be maybe even an instant reaction of you're like, why did I buy that? Buyer's I, remorse. <laughs> yes, yeah. instantaneous buyer's remorse. Yeah. So I don't really purchase a lot of things mm. online. Um, it doesn't have to be online. Well, I mean. In, in general, yeah. uh, probably I would say that the last regret purchase I did was um, I had an event where I had to dress in a 1920s style. So I needed kind of like like a flapper, flapper dress, right? sort of thing. Yeah. So um, when you get something, especially like from Amazon, especially when it's clothing, the size you're used to, <laughs> like yeah. extra large, it, it's not always <clears throat> translated well, depending sure. on where these clothes are coming from. So I'm like, okay, there was three I liked. I got an extra large in each one and thought, okay, whichever ones don't work, I'll yeah, send yeah, them yeah. back. Okay. So the first one, I'm like, oh, okay, this is great. Second one, oh, okay, now I've got two options. Put on the third one, which was my favorite that I ordered. It was gorgeous. But it's like, <laughs> can't even zip up the back. <laughs> I like, can't like, breathe. I'm going to have to drop like 50 <laughs> pounds or something to make this one happen. And the worst part is, is I didn't even send it back. It's hanging in my closet. Someday. What? That's really good. <laughs> yeah. so I'm just saying, dream big, Aaron. Yeah. Gotta look at the reviews on those. That's why I love, like, you know, you see all these, like, oh, my gosh, it's got 24,000 reviews, and you're scrolling through, and you're like, the fit. Everyone's yeah. like, eh, it runs a little small. And you're like, okay, so I should get the so size I, up, right? I didn't even look at any of that. It was just yeah. one of those things where I'm like, oh, my gosh, this event's sneaking up yeah. on me. I got to order something. I got to order it now. Me, meanwhile, Kate Moss is calling you. Hey, can I borrow that thing? Can I borrow that black <laughs> flapper dress with the iridescent sequins? That's sequence. the one thing that I shop for that I have to physically like in person, want to shop for because you're like you said, it's like yeah. every size, like this, like shoes. You mean right? like clothes? Just yes. Clothes. With the exception of t-shirts, mm. I mean, I can pretty much buy a t-shirt online that I have. Mm. I'm pretty much happy with it. I mean, I buy large. I'll buy mm. size large I've just because I don't like questionable. Yeah, you know, like I mean, if you get a medium, you know, sometimes. Yeah. The underarms are a little tight or whatever. Now, so. I'm that way with clothes in general. They're like shoes too. Yeah. Because like, like sometimes oh, I, I'm anywhere from oh, like, no, 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 I yeah. could be from an 11 to 12 and a half. I, you know, so I'm like, yeah. so sometimes I'm like, ooh, no, this is way too tiny. Shoes shoe. are risky. My yeah. wife has bought clothes online uh -huh. and once she got it, she was like, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. That. no, yeah. I'm the same way. When it comes to clothes and shoes, I'd much rather go to the store, try on oh, yeah. in person. Yeah. For sure. Because Jordan's right, especially shoes. And I find this so weird because it's like, Aren't feet like a universal size? <laughs> you know, because normally I'm Actually, size eleven. They're feet. not. If you go to England and Europe and all the sizes are different there. Mm -hmm. So like R nine mm -hmm. might be a seven or an eleven there or whatever. Well, I you just know. realized I yeah. just said I'm a size eleven in feet. I'm in, in shoes. <laughs> I found so actually my feet are size eleven. Making a commercial, I found yeah. this out. Uh, so every single like retail place as well yeah. also has their own. Uh, measurements for sizing, like specific, like so. Not every single store has the exact same measurements right, right. for sizing as every other store, which is why that happens. Well, and you guys don't have to worry about <laughs> this, but as ladies do, bras. That's not universal. <laughs> you know, you can be a, a C in one. You know, uh, gosh, I don't know company. What it, I don't know what any of those things mean. Well, so, it, <laughs> I'm just being honest. But it's okay. a, a D or, I mean, it's just everything's different. Even like around, you know, I could be a 38 e here. I could be a 36 what? there. It, it's just, it's insane. And I'm just like, shouldn't it just be all universal? <laughs> I mean, just make it a whole, you know, lot yeah. easier. See, okay, I'll tell you my, my impulse buy. We're going to boobs or us. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. If one existed. <laughs> <laughs> so... So my instant regret buy, uh, not that I instantly regretted it, I can't it sold it, but I bought it specifically to play one game. Nintendo okay. Switch. I, right. Nintendo Switch. Yeah. I thought that I was getting it for the family, like, so I'm like, okay, the family, I know my wife will play with me, I know, like, the right. kids will play. Mm -hmm. It turns out we just didn't, really, that much. Like, it was like, we had a lot of things going on in my head, I'm like, this is gonna be great, we're yeah. gonna use it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. In hindsight, we didn't use it at basically at all, dude. I used it to play the one game. I beat it, and like then it was like you have collecting kinds, dust for uh, five years. You have all gotcha. kinds of big plans when yeah. you buy these things, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it's like yeah. I was thinking about the family at the time of buying it, and then of course my wife's like, "Why didn't you talk to me before buying this?" And I go, "I should have." Uh. This, this <laughs> happened recently to me, and I told you guys about it. Okay, so you you ever seen those Amazon surprise boxes you can buy? Oh yes, yeah. You know, it's it's like they have them like once a year. A lot of times they'll be 
big sale. Ooh, you know, $29. Ooh, for a bigger one, $49. Ooh, And there's $60. all sorts of random stuff in there. Yeah. Right. There's all kinds of random stuff, maybe used or refurbished. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of electronic stuff, they say. I go, ooh. So, okay, here's the problem. It was a Sunday morning. I'm laying in bed with my phone. That's when I'm most vulnerable. Okay? You didn't have your cheaters on. I can I'm, tell you right now, I'm, that was the number one problem with this. I'm scrolling through and I go, ooh. No, no, no. I'm not going to get that. And then it's still in my mind. I go, okay, let me look at it again. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm then not, you start I'm, thinking of possibilities. Like, <laughs> what could be in there? Right. Ooh, yeah, that's exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the appeal. So that, and You're then, like, what and if I spend $30 and, looking, and I get a phone? I'm, I'm like, looking <laughs> at some comments and somebody's like, whoa, this was great. I got a blah, blah, blah. And I go, okay, You're I'm like, going to do it. sealed the deal. So I spent, here I am in bed. Here's my card. I spent $67. And I'm telling you, <laughs> as soon as I hit pay... Bells went off in my head like, you fool. You have no idea what you just got. Wait a tick. Back up a second. You sleep with your card? Well, it's right next to my, in my wallet. That's I all. was so, going to you know. say. So. <laughs> hey, don't judge. Then there's, he there's tucks it in. He tucks it in, puts it on a little pillow. Don't judge hey, there's, there's mornings where I've been scrolling and the husband's still, you know, snoozing. The so, dogs are out. And yeah, but it's like, then if I find something to buy, I got to get up. Go find my no, purse. No. Get, yeah. It's far too easy. So I make this purchase. And I'm, I'm immediately, I have buyer's regret, buyer's remorse. I'm like, okay, okay. So I let it, I think maybe that'll pass. Couple hours, three, five hours. You give it five they hours. still haven't made, you know, like said, okay, we've accepted your order. See, that right away made me worry. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. they didn't confirm anything to me. And then I'm looking at it. And it doesn't say, it, yes, it said Amazon box, but then it was like from a place called Amipallet. A-M-I, pallet. Go, what? wait a minute. And then I'm looking a little closer to some Chinese writing on it. I go, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I immediately send them an email and I go, hey, hey, cancel my order. Cancel it, you know. I don't hear anything back from them. No, fool, they already got your information. <laughs> so <laughs> then I, so I sent them an email. Okay, later that day, I sent them an email just following up. Transaction order number, blah, 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 blah. Nothing. Thank God I paid through PayPal, okay? I'm just telling you, this is an object lesson. If you ever buy something and you're unsure of, even if you are sure of it, use your PayPal because they are great. Because I immediately I sent to them and say, hey, I want to get a refund on this. They Maybe 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes later, they said, hey, your refund is on the way. So they must have said, Oh, there's another guy that got snookered gonna, by these guys. I was you know, say, they were like, "Hey, Johnson, <laughs> yeah, we got another Emma Pallet on the line here." What you're not revealing is like him sweating bullets at work over oh, at his desk. I came to he's, work he's straight up. He, they, this is this is Kevin. This is literally <laughs> Kevin at work as he's sitting there thinking more and more about this. <laughs> That's exactly. He's like, he's like, what have I done? Sixty-seven dollars. <laughs> but see, now I really do want to get like an honest to goodness, genuine. Amazon pallet thing. Yeah, when yeah. it's when it's the real See thing what is you out get. There. Yeah. You can always tell when something's bothering Kevin because <laughs> the normal happy bubbly Kevin <laughs> gone. Uh, he I is a nervous off. wreck. <laughs> he's not friendly. Uh, you know, he's just kind of he's like in a funk. And he'll say snarky things, and you're like, wait a minute, mm-hmm. I, I hadn't even said anything snarky yet. So this can't be retaliation. <laughs> so so yeah, when when Kevin and it's usually <laughs> something money related, uh, he's waiting on a refund for something. And he, it's just, it's not Kevin. We need to record it because people, oh, yeah, uh, yeah you, you need to see it. It's really something. When when I got that email from PayPal saying refund, <laughs> I was like, hallelujah, yeah, yeah. amen. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was like your it was like your Eagles won the Super Bowl. Exactly. You were like, yes! I felt like the way I did in 2018, <laughs> exactly, yeah. So we're talking about, uh, you know, stupid purchases we made or, or buyer's remorse or something, you know. I wouldn't call it so much stupid purchases, but the last thing I purchased so um, my dad had surgery on his knee a couple months back, and um, he's been have, having issues sitting lately. So um, he was like, hey, I need you to order me some sort of uh, gel or, or, or foam uh, pillow that the home health nurse was telling me about. And I'm like, Can you be more specific. And, of course, he's not. So I get on and I start kind of scrolling and stuff. And, and first you can find them for like 20 bucks and they're like this thick. And I'm like, well, that ain't going to do it. No. So, you know, <laughs> found one, you know, that 
looked thicker. It had like the yeah. foam on one the side. You flip size. it over. Yeah, right. and it's got like right. the massaging gel or whatever. Ooh, did and you get so, two? <laughs> well, okay. I, would, I wouldn't mind that. So then <laughs> before I could hit yes, purchase, he calls me again. Hey, get one for your mother. Ooh. Okay. So then I'm reading more and I see it helps sciatic pain. And I'm like, oh, the husband has been having sciatic issues. So I order three. She's got all her Christmas shopping done. So I order <laughs> three. Like... And so, you know, I get the email back saying, hey, thanks for your purchase. You were processing your order, blah, 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 blah. And so the husband comes home and he's like, oh, so what did you do today? And I said, well, dad wanted me to order <laughs> this, this gel foam pillow. And I got that. I go, but um, I said he wanted one for mom, too. And so I said, I went ahead and got you one. And he's like, he goes, am I in the same category as your parents? I go, well, I mean, it's supposed to help with sciatic pain. <laughs> so I just kind of played that off a little bit. It helps with sciatic pain. He loves it. And yeah. I, I delivered my, you know, the, the two to my parents, and they're like, oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. So now I'm starting to wonder, do I need one? See, I'm telling you. It might be a good idea for everybody. See, I'm a slide sleeper. Me and Aaron were talking about this yeah. earlier. I was like, do you know the pillow cube thing or whatever? Oh, yeah. It's like advertised. I'm like, yes. I want to try that because it's because like. Would it work? Yeah. Yeah, would it work? You know, and like, I'm such a side sleeper anyway that it's like. I understand what they say. There's mm-hmm. a lot of like, there's a lot of room that you're, ne- you're like when you're sleeping yeah. like this, you know, it's like I do wake up with a stiff neck sometimes. Well, you, you and it's like my shoulder. I've got, I've got an old injury on my right shoulder mm-hmm. and I've noticed lately it's been kind of flaring up and I've noticed that I've been sleeping on that side and I do this weird thing where I, you know, I know my shoulders hunched up. And I'm holding both my hands under my pillow. <laughs> I don't know why it just feels comfortable. That, to but, me, that's comfortable too. Your hands under the pillow. Yeah, and, yeah. But then when I wake up, that shoulder, and you can just oh, feel yeah. that mm-hmm. muscles all knotted up. Because you're and sleeping in an unnatural position. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's like I got to do. Even though something. at the time it's comfortable. But, and I mean, right. I even got a massage, and my girl was like, "Oh my gosh!" Yeah. She was like, "This." It's like crunch, 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 and I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> you have it hurts. You have to share the Timu story. Oh, okay. So. Uh, the husband's real big into Timu. Like he loves so like, I. I love garbage Timu. from yeah. there. And I, you know, I keep thinking, okay, we keep talking about how we need to purge and we need to do like a big <laughs> spring cleaning, but more Timu packages keep coming. But it's not like your hoarders buried alive or anything. We're not quite there. <laughs> We're good. There's some rooms that are kind of questionable. <laughs> and it's like, I can't relax when things aren't tidy and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, I love him to death, but since he has come into my life, I think that that might be part of the shoulder issue because I'm like this all the time. It's like it's too much. It's too much. Nothing's in order. There's piles of things in weird random places. I don't know where to put things away. Mm -hmm. So I digress. Anyway, um, a Timu package comes one day and he was like, I ordered you these really cool pants for 4th of July. Okay, back up. (laughs) He rarely buys me clothes unless I'm with him. Like he sees me, you know, in a store, like I'll try on a coat or you know, I'll look at a pair of jeans or something. And then if I move to another section of the store, then he'll like go sneak by it. You know what I mean? Like he knows right. I like it. Right. So I do the same thing. I'll okay. Do that oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Try to sneak like a picture of exactly yeah, what it exactly. is. Like, so right, maybe yeah. you can go back to the store yeah, later. Yeah. 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 So he, you know, but otherwise he doesn't know <laughs> what I like. So anyway, I'm like, okay, he wants to buy me pants. What? What is this? So I open them and he goes, oh, they're really cool. It's going to be for fourth of July. He's like, they're these jean capris and they got these cool you know like red white and blue patches and it's just it's really neat so i pull them out of the package first off the package is like this thin Mm -hmm. there's nothing there so immediately i'm like "Mm, something's off pull the pants out and hold them up they're about this big (laughs) they're great okay um (laughs) yes they are jean capris however they're like the really cheap workout pants that are super super thin um, nothing you could wear to work. It no, <laughs> no, I, nothing, to, nothing. Anybody you could wear, in wear public, in public. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's all like, <laughs> he's all excited. He's like, "See their jean?" I go, "No, no, 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 no." Mm-hmm. I go, "This is a a jean pattern printed on cheap workout pants." It, if you looked at the picture, like in the Timu advertising, yeah. it looks like it has a patch pockets. Right. They were screen printed on. Everything was pockets. screen printed. Everything. There were no was. Po- and It was just. And so he's like, well, they're not too bad. Go try them on. <laughs> so I went to the bedroom, put them on, came out, and I go, yeah, you see this? I go, You're this, the only one that's ever going to see this. This is never going to see <laughs> natural light. This is never going anywhere outside. Anywhere. And, and then I said, do you know why these pants are highly inappropriate? And then I bent over and I said, <laughs> nobody 
should have access. It's showtime at the see. Apollo. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So needless to say, I go, so send these back. He goes, yeah, it wasn't really worth it. Just pitch them. And I'm like, if they were that cheap, that had to have been a tip off. Yeah. Because I finally get it out of him. They were like three dollars. Or they, yeah, yeah. It was a special. Uh, Nineteen nine cents. You know, like, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, God. whoa. Jordan, Jordan so just shocked lost by his that. phone. I did. Jordan you better put it back so in the shocked. frame the right way, man. There we go. We got it. Does it look the same? Te- it looks exactly the same. <laughs> okay. Technical. Dude. There's a lot of work that goes into all in, yeah. into this podcast. No, you know, I'm I'm kind of famous for getting apps like oh you know, yes yeah, like <laughs> subscribing to apps. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. And and most of them like involve AI in one way or another. So I'll. I'll download something and it'll yeah. say, you know, hey, 30 day free trial or whatever. Okay. So I'll, I'll get the app and this is one. If you're on Google, your Google subscriptions are really important because it will tell you when, <laughs> when something's going to expire. So I will oftentimes cancel, you know, like right up to the end. And then sometimes they'll say, oh, are you sure you want to try it for another? 30 days or whatever. No, no, no. Cancel me. Mm-hmm. Hey, you sure? You're not going to pay anything. I Cancel! Cancel! Yeah. Okay, so I'll cancel it. There have been a couple of times where it slipped past me and I didn't. So then I go in to cancel it and Google a lot of times is like, okay, yeah, we're canceling your subscription. Whew, okay, dodge the bullet there. Once I had like three or four of those in a row where the ex- the it had expired yeah, yeah. And, and Google said, <clears throat> Yeah, this doesn't fit our refund policy anymore. Basically, they're saying, you've gone to the well too many times. We're not canceling on this. So I had to I had to pay the one month thing and then See, that's where they get you in those it. things, yeah. man, where it's like because you, you subscribe to a lot of these things, these free trials. Right. And like sometimes you're like, ooh, this one's a month. Ooh, this mm-hmm. one's three yeah. months. And then you forget. And then all of a sudden you go back and you go, wait, I've been paying for this I, for how long? I mark it on my calendar now. <laughs> yeah. And it'll say, and usually it's a few days before the actual date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In red, cancel such and such. So, so we don't have cable anymore, but we used to. And, you know, every once in a while you get a call, oh, you're such a fantastic you know, customer, we're going to give you a free weekend of Showtime. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. (laughs) Thank you. That's nice. Then you get your bill, and you realize, no, they've charged you for Showtime. It was (sighs) not free. And so, yeah, I've had to call once or twice and been like, whoa, whoa, whoa. When they called, this was not explained this way. They said, I got a free weekend just for a weekend, a trial. That's it. There was no, hey, you need to call and cancel this. It was not supposed to be a subscription. It was just that you got a free weekend. I'm like, you know, this this is kind of like fraudulent. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, and yeah. once you drop the F word, fraud, uh, mm-hmm. most people are like, whoa, whoa you yeah. know, and mm-hmm. it, it was taken off. But that's happened a, a time or two to where now or, you know, after that, anytime anyone would call and say, oh, you got a free blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nope, don't want it. Oh, but it's free, ma'am. No, it's not. I don't mm-hmm. want it. Mm-hmm. A couple of years ago, my son gave me his PS4 because he had just bought a PS5. Mm-hmm. So uh, and I had a few games not already, to brag, but I got a PS2. <laughs> Great. One of the best PlayStations, and, by the way. And uh, we had, I already had a few games on there, so, but I saw this offer on eBay, and it had a picture of a whole list. It was like probably 15 or 20 games okay. for $15 or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. And I'm looking at the individual games. I go, all right, I don't care about this one. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, this one's good, too. So I order it. One game arrives. That's it. There's one game and something I didn't even care about. And I get back to them. I go, hey, you said that it was this many games. And they go, no, we never said it was that many games. I said, you have a picture of all these games there. And you never said you just get this one game. I ended up getting my money back. And I sent back the one game that I got. So the husband from Timu bought this console. It's about yay big. I mean, it's tiny. And it has 99 games nice. on it. Have you seen these? I've they, seen those They things. sell them at the mall and all when you go through okay, sometimes. Or... so the man loves the 80s. You yeah, know? yeah, he yeah. A, he was a child of the 80s. <laughs> yeah. I was of the late 80s, early 90s. And he's <laughs> he, he bought this. He brought it home. I've seen him play it once. Once. And it's just like, why? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why did we get this? You remember this old-fashioned thing? Like, when I say old-fashioned, it wasn't super old-fashioned, but it was the... Yeah, the little arcade machine oh, yeah. that you plugged into your TV. Yeah. yeah. It was like the yellow and the blue connectors. Yeah. You do that, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, 60 Pac Man. I know. Oh, Galactica. You right. know, like, stuff like I that. I remember yeah. when uh, Pong came out. Now, we were teenagers when Pong came out. And I'm telling you, you would have thought we had just discovered time travel or something because yeah. it was the greatest. And all it was was 
Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Games now are made like movies. Ooh. They do motion mm-hmm. capture. I know. Like they do all these like yeah. It's that like making a giant hours. movie. Yeah. My brother and yeah. I sat there for hours playing Pong. I mean, it's like <laughs> to be fair. Still a great game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So does your significant others ever buy anything that you guys are like, why? Mm, you know, let me think. Have you ever bought, okay, you ever bought anything off Facebook Marketplace? No. Okay. Facebook Marketplace can be great. We've gotten some really nice furniture, you know, mm-hmm. people selling, you know. We've also, you got to be careful because what happens is, hey, I'll pay, you know, you know, okay, hey, we want to buy that. Is it still available? First of all, the worst thing you can say is, is it still available? Mm -hmm. Because just say, I'll take it. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Or if you have a question about it, ask a specific question. Mm -hmm. But don't say, is it available? Because that's, that's, they'll, they won't even respond to that because they get everybody saying, is it still available? So, uh, we, we bought something and it's happened to her more than once. Hey, okay, I want to buy it. And they'll say, okay, um, we'll save it, you know, for you. And then, so, okay, agreement done. We're going to buy it. Yes. They sell it to somebody else who who came, who came by. You said you were saving it for us. We drove you know twenty miles or fifteen miles or whatever yeah. to get this thing, and now you know what I mean. It's like yeah. common courtesy. Yeah, yeah. It, don't say you're going to save it for me, and then I don't show. I mean, if I don't show up, yeah, I, I can get it. Right. But oh, I have. Yeah, I remember a, a another regrettable buy I had, and you you were with me at the time. It was we were at the NBA's. You remember this? I lost my sunglasses. Oh, the sunglasses story. I, so if anyone that knows me yeah. and trusts me, they can they can attest to this. I am terrible about leaving my sunglasses this everywhere. Man loves his sunglasses. I take though. them off and then forget that they're on the table. We That's all just... we all go to lunch, and yeah, probably fifty percent of the time, I'll be like, "Hey, Jordan, you forgot these." <laughs> yeah, 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 one hundred percent. So I forget my sunglasses all over right, the place. Right. So anyway, I did this, uh, you know, and and, and so Bran- we're, what was it, Branson, something, yeah, 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 yeah. We're Branson. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we're at the NBA's, and I'm, I, I lost my sunglasses, super sunny, like out. So I'm like, I need as we have a sunglass hut. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go in there, perfect, yeah. and spend an extraordinary amount of money for a pair of sunglasses. It's sick, it's sick. I know, I'm telling I know, you. right? So, so, so I go in there and I get some some pretty nice sunglasses. I'm like, all right, these are pretty good. The next day, the next day, one of our bosses was like, hey, are you looking for your sunglasses? Oh, my God. I have them right here. I'd be like, why didn't you say anything yesterday? Do you, do you <laughs> dare say what you spent for those sunglasses? I wasn't going to knock you out. So here, I, I don't know. They were probably like 120 bucks. Which is expensive for sunglasses. It, it is pricey. It's yeah. pricey. Not the most expensive sunglasses I've seen in my life. But you weren't but shocked quite at the hundred and twenty, though, were you? I wasn't. See, I wasn't. I see a hundred and twenty dollars sunglasses, and like I would have suffer apoplexy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I buy five and six dollars sunglasses at Walmart. And see, okay? and so they were special. Like, why I was like, okay, this, first off, they were they were like real nice sunglasses, right? They're like name brand sunglasses, which is why they're expensive. Yes. Yeah. Oakley or yeah, something it's like, like that. Oh, right? is the polarization better? Probably not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is there that much difference technology per sunglass? No. They came off the same conveyor belt in China. The you know, five they, dollar they sunglasses are it. probably about the same as the hundred and fifty dollar <laughs> sunglasses. I bought the husband like a two hundred dollar pair of sunglasses yeah. right after he had LASIK, just because the I remember. You were celebrating. You were no, celebrating. No, just because I remember how sensitive my eyes oh, are. Yeah, okay, right. Post LASIK, yeah, and how yeah, polarization is not mm-hmm. the same. But it's yeah, also like, a nice welcome to vision gift. Well, you know, I mean, so. I, I guess, but yeah. I bought him like the same type that mm-hmm. I bought myself, you know. But the moment I bought ago. those, the next day, boom, the sunglasses show up. <laughs> and I'm like, now that was an absolutely unnecessary purchase that <laughs> I just did. But well, I still have them. You have and, an extra set of fancy exactly. ones. Yeah, yeah. If I ever lose them, I got another one. And my justification is the cheap sunglasses are cheap. But the expensive sunglasses are built very like I feel like I have had like, I've had them already multiple years now at yeah. this point. So yeah. you buy a cheap sunglass every year, you could buy an expensive pair of sunglasses and have them last multiple well, do, years. Do you right? remember what the song says? Go <laughs> get yourself some cheap sunglasses. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Cheap okay. sunglasses. Come on, dude. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So. Yeah, and I, well, and the husband's gonna think I'm ripping on him, and I'm not. Um, as far as buying things, that I'm like, why? Why would you purchase this? <laughs> Uh, so I get home the other day and I'm looking and sitting on our bar is like this bag and I notice it's a bunch of rings and they're skulls that it's, it's, it's skull rings. So he gets home and I go, 
Why? <laughs> well, I wanted a skull ring. I go, how many fingers do you have? <laughs> There's like 20 in here. <laughs> And Unless they're hiding some, I'm not well, aware no, of. And, and again, it was a Timu purchase. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Got something in bulk. <laughs> you know, I, you can't buy well, anything you know, at Timu for less than ten dollars, though, uh, by itself, because they will not ship. Like, if uh, you, oh, I found something for four dollars. Yeah, they're gonna have to spend six more dollars because they won't ship anything okay. under ten bucks. Really, really? To justify, yeah. That's so, funny though. Well, maybe you know what it was? It was like your that. husband was like, "I got a nice looking Harley. Now I need to roll up, <sighs> rocking, rocking." T- He's not Jack Teller. All, it's like, come all on. Ten, all ten fingers, he's got the skulls Jeez. on. <laughs> That's great. Uh, well, we're talking uh, purchases, uh, you know, buyer's remorse, things you've bought. You go, what was I doing that for? You know, yeah. buying stories, whatever. If you have one for us, we'd love to hear yours. Catcountry at com, <laughs> And be sure to subscribe as well to the Cat Kiss. Beware of Timu pants. Oh, I so wish we could share a picture of those, though. No. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Never. Thanks for visiting us. Thanks for being a part of this Cat Country Catcast.